Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on T beams. Let us read the question and write the given data. Determine the ultimate moment of resistance of an isolated beam of T shaped cross section having a span of 6 meter and cross sectional dimensions or flange width of 1000 millimeter. BF is given as 1000 millimeter. Flange thickness of 100 millimeter. DF is given as 100 millimeter. Web width of 250 millimeter. BW is given as 250 millimeter. And an effective depth of 500 millimeter. The effective depth D is given as 500 millimeter. Having tension reinforcement area as 3066.06 millimeter square. AST is given. The materials used are concrete mix of grade M20, FCK is 20 and steel of grade FE415, FOE is 415. First let us assume that the neutral axis lies in the flange. From the IS456 code book, page number 96, we can copy this. We can eliminate D on both of the sides. Instead of B, we have to apply BF. For XU, we will get 153.75 mm. XU is greater than DF, which is 100 mm. In this case, our assumption is incorrect. The neutral axis falls outside the flange. Now, we need to check whether DF upon D does not exceed 0.2. For DF upon D, we will get 0.2. So, DF upon D does not exceed 0.2. Let us assume that DF upon XU is not greater than 0.43. We know that the summation of the compressive forces will be equal to the tensile force. To memorize these three formulas, it is difficult. Let us see a shortcut how to take them from the code book. In this equation, we can eliminate D and then we can arrange like this. Instead of B, we have to apply BW. This is C1 and this is T and this is C2. In this equation, we can apply all of the values. For XU, we will get 240 millimeter. For DF upon XU, we will get 0.42. So DF upon XU does not exceed 0.43. For FI 415, XU max upon D is 0.48. In this way, for XU max, we will get 240 millimeter. For XU, we have got 240. For XU max also, we have got 240. So both of them are having the same value. XU max and XU are greater than DF, which is 100. XU upon D will be also 0.48. When DF upon XU does not exceed 0.43, we need to use the equation given in G 2.2, that is this one. Instead of XU max, we have to apply XU, but here both of them are same. After applying all of the values for MU, we will get 476.2 kN meter. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.